Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart Alpha 8. So, there's some things that we're gonna do in today's episode and one of them is to name one of our people to Bradley Berman. So, I'm gonna select one of my followers here that we got. Uh, do I only have girls? Girl, girl, I think it's a girl. Oh, here's a guy. Selvan Mont. So, let's rename Selvan into Bla Bradley Berman. So let's go for that. So welcome to the town, Bradley. And uh, I got a suggestion from the same person as well, how we can make farms more efficient. So I'm actually gonna try it. I'm not sure if I will be using it over and over, but at least wanna try the thing that he said. So what we basically gonna do is gonna create a farm here. So I'm just to make it to one by whatever number I want. First we're just gonna defeat this little goblin though, so. Get him, boys. Make me proud of you. Okay, he's down. So now I'm gonna show you what I was talking about here, so... Get farms and uh, do it in whatever size I want. One times whatever. So we're gonna make it one times uh, eight. I'm gonna grow some... Let's grow turnips. And then we're gonna make another one. Grow turnips. And then we can make another one, which is gonna make a difference, so let's make pumpkins for that one. Just to make it look a bit strange, and then we're gonna have turnips, and turnips again. So, the way that I think the way that he said that this works is that... You see, with these farms, it has these extra things in between each one, so it's like one... Like one block where you don't really do anything, it's the block where they go and work. And if this works the way... That I think it works. It should only be places where things grow, so... I think this probably looks better, but uh, that's taking a lot less space and probably gonna be working faster to get things. Level 4! Extended catalog. The carpet now has the courage to try more elaborate products. That's really nice. Speed up the game a little bit. I wonder how today's uh, daily update this is gonna go. I think it's gonna go pretty good. I'm pretty confident in this one. And we should maybe start to try to like, you know, work on our next house. This one is basically almost done. We got some interior to change, but um, it's gonna come over time, like, because we're gonna change this once we get more houses going. So we can start to design a new one. We need to have a floor to start out with. I'm gonna go for a more bright floor, this one. And I don't think we can have this as big. It's gonna be a smaller building, this one. So it's not gonna look identical to the previous one. And we can have the door at this side, just yes, like the other one, so it kind of goes together with uh, the road. Because we're gonna try to connect everything this time with roads. And I think that's gonna be pretty good to have it with roads. So we're gonna have some kind of roof, and uh, which one? I kind of want to go for a dark one on this one as well. And I'm gonna turn the roof to this way. I think that looks better. And we cannot place anything inside it, just like before. It's a bug that exists for the moment, so... Nothing really crucial or anything. It just is what it is. So we have a lot of things here. I wonder how much we have inside our storage. So this is a storage that I made in the previous video. So basically inside this hill here, they can go and dig in. And I want to try out later on also with the, the blacksmith, of course. I watched some other guy's video where he actually basically started to dig into a mountain directly and started working at gathering different ores like uh, copper, iron and such things. So that is definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to try out once we get there. But uh, that's not in the current goal. So as you see we can actually extend the road right into the house. I don't think we can go like under the door, but I mean this is uh, how far it should go. So I think that's gonna look way better than having that little greenish spot there. Daily update! Oh my god, we failed with food? How do we do that? It's, it feels like we have a lot of food. That's a bit strange. Maybe it was low at the time, exactly when they came, I don't know. I thought we was having a good time with food. So because of that reason, I'm actually gonna gather some more berries. 
And here you can actually see the farm that I was talking about there. You see, we have like five fields here. And I mean, it actually do look pretty good. I could actually think about going for this way. I thought it was not going to really look that good, but it actually do look pretty decent. So you see, we have a lot of food grown in a tiny space compared to this one where we have this space in between. So I don't know guys, I might go for this a lot of times and maybe grow some crops right close to the house here. Maybe we should try it out, you know, just to see kind of how it could look. So let's grow something here. Oh, I know, we're gonna grow flowers of course. That's gonna look awesome. I mean, we don't have to take them if we don't want to, so we're gonna grow flowers here. That's gonna look pretty good. Should we have flowers here as well, or should we... I think we're just gonna go for this one first. One thing is kinda bad with it though, you see that I would, <laughs> it would be cool if I could remove this. But I don't really care, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I guess we're just gonna find out uh, when we get further with it. Oh, they're progressing real fast with that, so that's good. Let's get some more of this silkweed. And we should probably start to farm some of that as well. So let's make a little field with silkweed roots. Maybe we can have it like at the side of this house here. So I'm gonna make it... Um, let's make it the way that Barley Bradley said to me. Oh yeah, we need to change this as well. Silkweed and... Silkweed. I think I'm gonna go for a third one. This, that was strange. Okay, now it seems to work. Maybe? It... It's like it auto-connects with other ones. Okay, it seems to work. So there we go, we get uh, three fields of uh, silkweed. And uh, I mean, we're definitely gonna need a second farmer. I mean, we have all these. We have these flowers, we have this grown here. I mean, we're gonna need more, definitely. I and mean, it's a lot of space between these and these, so... So let's see, do we have actually any tool for that? We do, that's good. I think I will wait with a weaver for a bit. I do want to get a weaver, but I do not want to... What do I? Maybe I do. Gem. Gem is going to become the weaver. So maybe we can make some nice like curtains and such stuff, so that's going to look pretty good. Let's see, are we getting it? Yeah, here's the weaver. Can, I'm going to build a workshop uh, actually close to the entrance here currently. I think most of this silkweed is gonna go inside here, so getting attacked. And we might actually need to get a footman soon. And I really try, like, I don't know, I kinda wanna move these up here, but you know, in the past I had so many problems with um, removing a stockpile and letting them move to the other place. I got so many problems with it before, so I'm a bit scared to do it. I think. There's some more goblins. Do seems like that. Go get him. He's not gonna take my stuff. Okay, so I don't know if they... It seems like the halter do work, so I might need to chop down some more wood. Or maybe it got halted when I built this one. Let's see what happens. Chopping down the trees at least. But we might have a little fence around this as well. I, th I just think it looks pretty good to have it, so... Let's go for another one for this one. Okay, they were building a roof, that's good. Let's see here how we can put this. If it's gonna work together good. Maybe we should have it like that, should we have it like that? Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, select like the previous house. Oh no, too close. Oh well. Guess we're gonna have to change it soon. Maybe we should have a little uh, garden lamp here, but it do seem like this gives a nice amount of light. 
and we really need to get more beds going, so... Let's move in two people into this house. Where was the door? There we go. So let's get two door, two beds. Two beds in this house, and that means we will have five beds for our people. Not enough yet, though. So we have this as well. So we got these flowers that we can put on the house. Let's put it underneath the windows. Oh, so beautiful. Such a nice little home, isn't it? Actually, it looks pretty good. I like that look. I would say that this is one of the better houses I made. It's nothing really advanced or anything, but it, it just looks pretty good, I think. So let's move this as well. So move to the other side. And <laughs> here's a little bug. It's easy to fix. Just move it to other place so that a heartling can actually move around. So we have some more fences to build with. And they're not gonna have a big plot for this one, they can have a lot smaller one. And maybe the fence should be... the gate should be here. Oh, I noticed one problem here. This do not look very good. I mean, we could put one here. It's not gonna look perfect, but... Hopefully it's gonna look decent at least. Hopefully they're gonna be able to move through, we'll see. Can get some more fences, maybe like that. Okay, we went a little bit too far. So I think we have to remove the last of these fences. Maybe we should have a nice little park bench outside this one. Two of them. Oh, well, let's just go for one of them. They can have a little lantern in the garden. Like that. Gonna remove this one. I'm just gonna temporarily move it here. I wonder if they are stuck here or if they can get out. A trader approach? Hello, Sinfen. I'm just passing through, but even I can see that I have a skill craft in your ranks. If you make me si seven and picket fences. I'll back win one day and might be able to get you six wooden garden lanterns. Screw you. We're losing wood, so no, no, no. You might need... Oh, it looks like we're filling up inside here. Oh, maybe not. Just put it in the entrance. Okay, we need to get more wood. You know, it takes a lot of wood when you're making all these different crafts. I, I mean, I don't really like to do it like this, like see here. Moving it together like this way. But uh, I don't have much options for it and... I wonder if this guy can't get out. I guess we're gonna find out. This is gonna let him be in the file, but it looks like he's hungry, so... I'm gonna move the fence and we're gonna see if uh, he gets out or not. So I might have to rework this a little bit. Let's see, do we get out? Hmm, still standing inside. Hmm. Maybe we should make some roads. Oh, can't we... We have to put... Okay. It will be easy to change, though. We have to put the road before we put uh, the fence. Because I guess if we dig under it, it's just gonna be problems. So they made it that way. So let's get some road going inside. And I mean, we could just get it like this. It don't have to go all the way to the door. Sometimes it might not look that good to have it all the way. Maybe we should make a road all the way, like all the way down here. I'm not sure if they actually move faster on the roads yet or not. They might do it, I'm not sure. But if they do, it's gonna be really handy to have this road going here. As long as they take the road, they might take this way anyway, so... So now our trap can actually charm pets, and that's good. So we can tame a little beast for himself. A little rabbit beast. 
It seems like this person at least got out. And what I'm gonna do, I think, I'm gonna place this here once again. And we're gonna see if it's gonna work or if it's gonna fail. Oh, goblins. And we might need to get some more defense soon. I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know what day it is. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's like... Day 5, 6, 7. Okay, we're getting one more goblins here. Go get him. There's no chance for our heartlings. Okay, he's dead. So I definitely think that we need to get uh, more stone. We have a very limited amount of stones. We can get these stones, I guess. That should be... Good amount. And we could of course dig in a little bit more. So let's see here. Um, let's go... I think we're gonna dig it this way now, this time. We can make like paths, one on that side, maybe one on uh, this side. And we can continue with more rooms, whatever. We can have temporary beds in there, even that. Grow some secret crops inside. But I mean... I don't think they're super happy with uh, the state with the beds and things, but uh, they should be happy with food. 5.5 or rather haps nest. I mean, the food 8.9. Come on. It must be good. Shelter is 5. It's not really... You're happy about it, but it's not really good. Oh, nice flowers. Okay, that's the bar bad part about it. <laughs> they actually taken it away. But actually, I actually think it looks pretty decent. I would like to have it closer underneath here. But you know, at the same time, we can take them and place them like this. So, we can make a nice garden if we want to. We can even have it like outside here. That would look pretty good. Let's, for the fun, let's place one right outside. And now we have proof that uh, this actually do work. I mean, do not look perfect. But you know, it is what it is for the moment. I'm not gonna adjust <laughs> the size of this house, even though it do annoy me a little bit. Let's move this fence gate here. Maybe we should have a gate for the entrance here. We, I think we can make a door, but uh, think about actually having a little gate here. If it's big enough. Oh no, it's not fitting in perfectly. And we probably need to get some more wood. We're gonna need so much wood. So there's not gonna be much trees around. Taking those, taking those. So that means like no more, no more trees. Daily update, come on. Oh, food, foodie foodie. A new settler would like to join your town, awesome. Welcome Vire Gwarin. Ben hurts into the sheep, farm it too. Great, more health. So here we got Vio and... I guess, I think it's actually a guy with that name, but I'm not sure, I think it's a guy. Don't get offended if uh, you're named Vio. It's just that, you know, this hairstyle some have in this game. It's real hard to distinguish, like, what they are. I'm pretty sure this is... This one is a girl. That's a guy. A guy? Um, a girl, I think. <laughs> But this is starting to look pretty good, and I really like that uh, I choose to go for this way. We're not playing the latest version, because we will be able to make so much more. Let's plant some more flowers. Oh, that was too close. Or maybe it works. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, it's not placed yet. But at the same time, we can make it really crowded. So we got something here. Trader! I make him nine wooden doors and he will be back and give me one comfy bed. No. No. I mean, it's good to get that, but... You know, I don't have that much wood around. This is pretty far away and it is risky when you play in normal mode because... When you're outside here, you might get like goblins on you. But it do seem like they actually are trying to take this road. You see this guy? is going down there. They might be actually faster, so if they are, that's just good. Maybe we should... Yeah, we should add some more details here. Maybe we should have a writing desk inside this house. 
and we of course need to have a share of them. I mean, you don't want to stand and write, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're getting pretty good in, with this game now, so... Guys, and thank you for watching this episode with Stoneheart, and if you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe so you won't be missing out on the future ones, and I hope you liked this, so... Feel free to like the video if you liked it, and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, take care.